Hi, welcome to Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. I'm Diana Gray Mountain. I know that many of you are unable to come to the park, so we're bringing the park to you. Today we'll be talking about desert bighorn sheep. Here in Glen Canyon, we have a desert environment. Glen Canyon averages about six inches of rain a year. So that means that resources are very limited. Plants and animals here have different adaptations, both behavioral and physical adaptations that help them survive. A physical adaptation is the structure of the animal's body that help them survive in the different environments. Here it's very warm, it's also very dry, and we also have very slick Navajo sandstone. During the summer times, it's also very hot here, and the temperatures can get up well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The animal has to learn how to adapt to it, and one of the physical adaptations to the desert bighorn sheep is that their body is a lot smaller, their legs are longer, so they're higher up the ground so they don't get that heat from the ground, and they also have thinner coats, and that's one of the ways that keeps them cool. Desert bighorn sheep have many adaptations that help defend itself. One of the adaptations is camouflage. If you look around us here in Glen Canyon, we're surrounded by the sandstone, very dark and neutral tones. And if we were to look at the fur of the desert bighorn sheep, it's also very brown. So when you're looking for the desert bighorn sheep, sometimes it's hard to find and they're able to camouflage with their surroundings. Another adaptation that the desert bighorn sheep have is that they have horns. You can see that they're nice and round and they're actually pointed and very sharp. Both male and females do have horns and that's how they're able to defend themselves from predators. Lastly, another adaptation that the desert bighorn sheep have is that they have padded hooves. Because of these padded hooves, they're able to climb the slick sandstone and they're able to get away from predators faster. There are a lot of ways that you can protect desert bighorn sheep. One way is by always practicing leave no trace. The key principle is to always keep in mind when you're outside is always pick up after yourself. Never leave any trash behind. And of course, always closing the trash can doors. The reason why trash is such a big problem with the wildlife here, and especially the desert bighorn sheep, is that the desert bighorn sheep are unable to tell the difference between what plants and food that they can eat to the difference of trash resources and food are always very limited and scarce for animals and if they're eating you know banana pills orange pills and things that people left behind or that people are feeding them sooner or later they do become heavily dependent on those resources that the people are giving them that they're unable to depend on the natural resources like the plants and things out here that they do normally eat in a normal diet So when you guys are out and about hiking and you see wildlife, and I know it's very exciting, but one thing to always practice is the rule of thumb. And the rule of thumb is if you were to hold your thumb out straight in front of you and you were to close one eye, and if the animal straight ahead is fully covered by your thumb, then that means you're a good safe distance away. If you were to hold your thumb out and close one eye and the animal is not fully covered by the thumb, then that means you do need to take a step back. And then just keep taking a step back until that animal is fully covered. By following principles like leave no trace, you will be able to protect this environment for the desert bighorn sheep and all visitors who come to play at Glen Canyon.